Hey guys and welcome to my journey to a Formula 1 BBL team. It's episode 7 now and we're just going to get straight into a game and if we could hit 15 likes on this video again that would actually make me jitter my pants because we've been hitting it over every episode and it's absolutely amazing to pull and I just want to say thank you. But undoubtedly, as we are on the EA servers, yeah, this had to happen didn't it? We go out to buy a striker, yeah thinking yes we're going to get fucking 6 foot 8 black man who's going to partner up Kone. But no! EA servers being EA servers, we just sitting around here, go to buy the man, and obviously Triore thinking beast, look at him, he is 6 foot 8, 6 foot fucking 8, so we go out, assign the guy, look at the size of him, monster, 6 and a half hours later, finally EA allowed us to sign into the club, so we whacked Asaps on the old bench, because Kone is the warrior of all warriors, and me being a spastic tried putting like, some sort of card on him, but still, we put Traore up front, thinking yes, Kone Traore, can't go wrong with that, with Zobia behind them, playing them balls in, like I'm thinking, 6 for 8, we've got to get some balls on this guy's head, he's got to be a beast, he's got to have the strength of Heskey, and the pace of Murtasaka, but oh no, I was wrong. He's even fucking worse than both of them put together. He seriously is absolute dog poo. So we got straight into the first game, obviously thinking, yes, divisions, we're going to win Division 8. Division 8 is for the 10-year-old little twats who can't play FIFA because they are shit. No offense to any of my subscribers who are in Division 8 and the 10-year-old little twat. But yes, we go straight into the game, thinking, yes, 87 chemistry. This twat doesn't know fuck all about chemistry. Oh, no, and he's got the wife shagging bastard at the back, John Terry. Oh, look at that. Look at that one. Go on, lad. Stick your wife sugar at the back. Yes. Why has he got Adler in... What the fuck is he doing with Adler in goal? But still, <laughs> his kid knows nothing about chemistry. Clearly, he needs to go back to science class and start learning. We're straight on the attack, but no, the counter-attack from Black... <laughs> Straight to Sturridge, my goalkeeper comes rushing out to kick the guy in the nuts, but nowhere. Jesus Christ, this is what only happened to me. He goes and scores a nice cheeky overhead kick. Obviously an open goal, so nothing special, but Jovetic once again powerhousing that ball back in the net. Like, what is my defender doing? What's he, what's he waiting for? To hold his fucking hands and say, oh, you can have the ball. No, you can have the ball. To Torre, straight on the attack. No one can stop him, and fuck me, what was that? <laughs> of everyone, like, I literally should have heard the commentator, he was like, and he must score, and no, he didn't, and straight off from the bat, and again, look, Jovatic, get your tits out, this guy is beating my whole defence, I have guys who are twice the fucking size of this guy, and I still can't fucking beat him in the air, no, I can't, 37 minute in, we're 2 now down, thinking, I'm getting a D, let's be honest, like, I'm getting a D from a white guy, look, who is even marking him, nobody, 37 minutes in, it is Delafo Kone time, Kone's been played through, straight through the box, bam, goal, sit the fuck down, your mama's like this, and da 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 shut the fuck up, you downy, um, yeah, it's <laughs> a so Kone, straight off the bat, and scoring that goal there, 42 minutes, 41 I should say, but Kone unstoppable, when you get him running, he is unstoppable force of nature, so he's trying to do a bit of tricky there, what have you got on me, when I've got Torre on the ball, the pace of him, look at him, go, and crack, and for fuck's sake, this guy can't finish for shit, the goalkeeper even saved it, I'm surprised it even went on target, didn't even go on target, I don't even know, Van Ginkel, brilliant ball in the box, Bassong, smacking the crossbar, rebound, and lucky little goal there, not gonna lie, did get my tits out for that goal, but still, I went crazy for that goal, because we were 2 nil down, then we were going back 2-2 at half-time, what can you say about that, that goal was a bit noobish, but at half-time, that's going to put the downfall on him, right in the shitter, so he's literally on the attack instantly, but no, straight from kickoff, he has just given away a fucking little cat, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but Ma Martin Skirtle, the only guy who has hair in this game that hasn't in real life, as Melon got himself a fucking red card, and oh my god, I was so pissed when he saw when I saw it happen. But no, straight after half time, he once again was straight on the attack, bum fucking me with Sturridge. I really didn't expect that. That that was out of nowhere. What what is that? What is that? So he was like Sturridge 
Like, what is... Oh, he's just, oh look at that triggery. Oh, my God, that left foot bang. Goalkeeper didn't even see that coming. Like, he saw... He didn't even see his own death coming. Look at him now. Look, straight back to Guzan. Pumper, humper. In straight up the pitch. But no, out of nowhere. You wouldn't have guessed. He's got the ball back. So, Sissoko's done us over. No, Sturridge... And he's banged it in the back of the net. Fuck me sideways. Like, I'm getting anally destroyed by Sturridge. Maybe I picked out the wrong striker, I'm thinking, at this time. Like, should I have got Kona? Uh, should I have got Sturridge over to Array? I thought I'd go to Array because it was a bit of height, pace, strength, everything. Like, I was nothing. I might as well put fucking Mary Poppins up front and had a chance. But out of nowhere, Asaps, straight little skill there. And pow! In the back of the net. Like, now, come at me, like. Something rowdy, crowdy, uh, just shoot him. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking terrible. Okay, guys, so we're three, two, there, four, three, or four, three down. Yes, we're gonna come back at this. Seventy-fifth minute. We still got fifteen minutes of this game. Van Kinkle, brilliant ball in the backs. Bassong, fucking titless hole. Still can't even get his head on it. He's absolutely useless. And Kone. Oh, no, that was who was that? Troy, but Kone here, out of nowhere. Look at that trickery there. Finesse goal, last. Sit the trampy hell down, bitch. 89th minute. That is a soul destroyer right there from Kone. Four, four in the 89th minute from Kone. The unstoppable man. The unstoppable nature of force. Like, this guy is never going to be stopped. I swear to God. But we ended up finishing the game at 4-4, which is absolutely brilliant. Even though somehow we got a red card. Even though I don't believe that was a red card. I got the ball in the end. I may have gone through the player to get the ball. But I still got the ball. What's the fucking point? So... We go into our next game very slowly, thinking, yep, yeah, 4 4, pretty alright result. Look at them stats, though. I gave that kid the Jimmy Savile. So, we're going to stick Torre up front again. Actually, yeah, we're going to stick with Torre up front, but we're obviously having to switch a bit around with a Winston Reed. And we stuck in the sticking Schneiderlin on Van Ginkle. God knows why, to be honest, but Schneiderlin seems like a pretty decent player, even though it doesn't say it on his stats. But, and retardedly, we went back to chemistry class and started sticking right wings on left wings. God knows why. I thought Danny Dyer might have had a go because he's had a little punch up in the pub and all the oldie stenders. Yes, I watch it. What the fuck is wrong with me? But still, yeah. Yes, um, he's had a little punch up there, so he's turned black somehow. But anyway, we go straight into our second game, Aliens FC, and yeah, we're going to get absolutely anally destroyed. Fuck. <laughs> no, but that team, though, I may have to buy that team. I'm not sure if it's full chemistry. Obviously, he's got Arsene Wenger there, but looking like a very, very nice team. Like, I usually, I believe people usually have Eva up front, but clearly this kid's too poor to have Eva. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but still, um, we shall get into this game with the strength of gods behind our back, and Jesus on our shoulders, and Mary sitting there on my dick, but still, straight off and kick off, Ebarbo's just giving the day, like, what can I say, Banana Man has scored again, I don't know why I keep calling him Banana Man, he just looks like this wrestler, back in the days of wrestling, WWE, who wore a banana suit and was black. He just looks like him. <laughs> it's not racist or anything. He just looks like him. But straight from kickoff, Exogbius somehow winning the header. Troy comes out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck was that? Like, come on, like, suck on that, my British bitch. Like, stuck to your heart. No, but seriously, like, Troy actually scoring a goal. I, I had to blink about 10 times after that. Jesus Christ. I was absolutely like. I can't do it. But still, Schneiderlin straight from kick off. Bam! Cracking that against the post. Unlucky. What was this guy doing? Kone's trying to tow it, but the absolute spastic toes it into the goalkeeper's palms. Right, so he's attacking on the ball, and just nothing really happens there. But game freezes. What the fuck? Is this kid actually. Oh, he's in, I'm guessing he's in the bill run out or something like that. But pretty pissed at this point because we were drawing I was giving this kid the Jimmy Savile and yeah it came out as a draw I believe so I'll deal with that because at least it's not a loss so guys we're gonna go sort out the coins now but obviously we got I think it was two draws five goals so that's pretty decent I'm not gonna lie but I'm just gonna say now make sure you check out the next episode okay guys I'm gonna go get some coins so guys, if you enjoyed this video, obviously I know it's been a bit of a long one, but it'd be greatly appreciated if you get it 15 likes again, as the last one did, because I know this series isn't the most popular one on my channel, uh, but I'm really enjoying doing it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I hope to see you next time. Make sure 
Uh, so, okay, we transfer over 4,500 coins. Make sure that you're here for episode 8, I believe it is, because it's a live one, and there is a lot of a rage, because seriously, it's all live. And I know it's not our fifth episode or anything, but it's a bit of a rager one, and it's, it's going to hopefully be quite funny, because I really get on my... Uh, I don't know. Guys, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.